Meanwhile, the Justice Department has opened a civil rights investigation into Sunday's shooting of Jacob Blake. After three days of violent protests, Wisconsin's governor has sent at least 500 members of the National Guard to Kenosha County. CBS 2's Mola Lange has more. The Reverend Jesse Jackson joined the NAACP and other local officials to call for justice for Jacob Blake. Shot in the back seven times. Seven times. Seven times. No, just in front of the children. No, no justification. Wednesday was Kenosha's quietest night since Blake was shot by police on Sunday. Although protesters stayed out well past the earlier daylight curfew, there were no major conflicts in the streets. During the incident, officers attempted to arrest Jacob S. Blake. Last night, Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call announced new details about Sunday's shooting. He identified the officer who shot Blake as Rustin Shesky, an officer with the Kenosha Force for seven years. In the first press conference by the AG since Sunday's shooting, Call said investigators recovered a knife from the driver's side floor of Blake's SUV. During the investigation following the initial incident, uh, Mr. Blake admitted that he had a knife in his possession. Blake has undergone surgery and is still recovering in the hospital. Good afternoon. And Kenosha Police Chief Daniel Miskinis said violent riots are overshadowing the incident that prompted protests in the first place. The underlying message is about racial tension and police violence. When things become violent, that message is lost. On Tuesday night, 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse, allegedly seen here on video wielding a gun, started firing off rounds as bystanders approached him. Two of the people shot died of their wounds. Rittenhouse walked right past police and from the scene, and it wasn't until Wednesday that authorities arrested him in his hometown of Antioch, Illinois, 20 miles away. Local officials are promising that change is coming and that protesters will be kept safe. The law enforcement, the National Guard, the Sheriff's Department, all of them that are here to be protected and to help protect the community. Sources tell CBS News the FBI has sent special agents here to Kenosha to help in the investigation. The officers involved in Blake's shooting have been placed on leave. They have not been charged. Wisconsin officials say they are fully cooperating with the investigation. Mola Lange, CBS News, Kenosha, Wisconsin. And while the situation was much more peaceful last night, local law enforcement do say that there were several arrests.